stinging nettles. What a bunch of bastards. I mean, you're going for your nice summer walk and you walk into these things and it's ruined. You have itchiness, pain for ages and ages and ages. But why do stinging nettles hurt? And why does it hurt so much and go on for such a long time? Well, let's get into it today. Into the weeds, I was gonna say, but they're not quite a weed. So these are stinging nettles here. You can recognize them by their big, serrated leaves at the top. Now, if you were to zoom in on a microscope, you'd see that each stinging nettle has loads and loads of little hairs all the way down its stem, all the way down its leaves, the leaves in particular. And if you brush against them, what you do is you knock off the, the silica tip from the top of those little hairs, these little trichomes, and that makes kind of like a needle and the needle can pierce your skin. And when it pierces your skin, a bunch of uh, stinging nettle toxins go into your skin and that's what causes the pain. But what is in the stinging nettle toxin? Well, quite a few things. For a long time, people thought it was formic acid. That's the same thing that, you know, those really nasty ants bite you with. That's why it hurts so much. But the fact is, there is a bit of formic acid in there. There's probably not nearly enough to make you feel that uncomfortable for that long. In fact, you might not feel uncomfortable at all with the amount that's in there. But there's other things too. So there's a few other types of acid. There's tartaric acid and uh, oxalic acid. Now all those acids combined, well maybe that might have an effect on you. There's also a bunch of neurotransmitters in there, which is kind of interesting. You have serotonin, you have acetylcholine, and you have histamine. Now histamine is one of the big ones. Uh, you know if you have hay fever or an allergy, you take antihistamine. That's because when cells release histamine, it causes you to swell. And when you swell, then you start pushing on nerve cells around things which are swelling, which causes pain. So lots of Histamine equals pain. And uh, that's why you take an antihistamine when you have your allergies and uh, when you get stung by something. Uh, it has acetylcholine, which is another neurotransmitter, uh, and has serotonin, which we often think of as the happy hormone, but actually it does a lot of other things as well. That all those things combined, as well as the three acids, probably come together to give you that pain. Now we know how each of them works individually. We kind of have an idea about how that cocktail works. But what's kind of interesting, is that I don't think science has still figured out why it hurts for so long after you get stung by a nettle. By all accounts, it really shouldn't, but it does. It goes on and on and on. So that's something we're trying to figure out. The reality is just don't walk into them, you know? They are for nettle soup. They are not for walking in and running your hands through. And what about the remedy? So often people say rub a dock leaf on it or a plantain leaf, depending uh, on which country you're from. So dock leaves, they grow roughly where stinging nettles grow and people rub it on that. Now, why do they do that? It's like an old wives tale. Well, you know, maybe it has sap in it. The sap is cooling like chamomile lotion uh, and it's alkaline. So it neutralizes that acid. But remember, the acid doesn't really cause a lot of the symptoms. And also the sap's not really alkaline. So you can kind of get rid of that situation just there. Some people say it contains a natural antihistamine, uh, but unfortunately, I don't think that's been shown in the evidence. So that's not something either. Ultimately, it might just be a bit of a placebo effect and rubbing it with something that's a little bit soft, makes it feel a bit better. The best thing you can do if you get stung by a nettle is to man up. Um, but if you're not going to do that, get some antihistamine cream. Uh, that is the only thing that we've proven in science that can make you feel a little bit better. Um, so there you go. Nettles, bastards. Um, but I suppose they do have some purpose in nature, but I'm not sure what that is.